Now I'm gonna get into emails and some design work and I also have a meeting and like three hours to review all the design stuff that I'm doing, which is still top secret and you guys don't know who the design collaboration is with yet, but you will see soon. This is my current desk situation. I'm wearing this old sad label top with some old sir trap shorts. I can't even talk this morning. No matter what my day is going to be, even if it's just me working from home all day, I will always, always, always do my skincare, get changed, get dressed. It just makes me feel like productive. It makes me feel like I've already achieved something. My breakfast arrived. It smells so good. Now we're gonna whisk the matcha and blend it. I usually like setting a nice intention for the day while I whisk my matcha. I just think it's a really nice way to start the day. filled with ideas and business and all good stuff. I'm gonna make lunch. We are probably going to make a salad of some sort. I will probably make a tuna salad. There we have it. Lunch is served. Just finished lunch and I've got a Zoom meeting right now. Let's do it. Hi. I'm good. How are you? Nice to meet you. Just finished my meeting on Zoom with Soho House and Nathan is eating my salad. The rest of my salad because I never finish my songs. So good. I'm shooting in an editorial tomorrow in the city, so I have to stay in my clothes today and organize all the styling for that. In one hour's time, I have therapy. And then in two hours time, I have an L's lesson because I'm finally learning how to drive. I also have the house to myself because Nathan's gonna be working, so. We're just gonna be vlogging up right up. What else is Nathan eating now? The next leftover. What's left over? Fried rice. So our gorgeous friend just delivered. She's a florist and she was using these beautiful greens for an event. And we've got a shoot coming up on Monday that we're using these as props in. So it worked out really well. Cute bird. And we're off again. We've actually been very surprisingly busy today. I kind of picked a good day to vlog, I guess. So now I'm on my way to therapy, which I'm looking forward to because usually I go once a week, but I missed last week's. Therapy has really, 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 really helped me in the way I process things and are more aware of my feelings and also just how I connect with other people. It's definitely has been game changing, not just for my own personal mental health and growth, but also just like how I am like career wise. And also like, I don't know, it honestly has just bettered all areas of my life. I couldn't recommend it enough to everyone. Obviously I think it's really important to find someone that you connect with. Yeah, I feel like I just got really lucky with my therapist. She's the only person that I've ever seen and I have really have felt connected and also just very, very comfortable around her and I think that's very, very important. I've literally seen her for about like, oh my God, I've seen her for a year. That's actually crazy. 
but yeah just want to give you guys an update that she has helped me tremendously and also just like a little tip slash advice for anyone who is thinking of going to therapy i think it's definitely important to keep in mind that you know therapy is really helpful and it is important to have professional help and to have access to like the right tools to sort of guide you through your problems and relationships and career and stuff but at the end of the day the only person who is going to help you through anything is yourself because some people go to therapy and think that everything is going to change and all of their problems are going to be solved but it's not going to happen unless you really really want to make that happen and you put yourself first so yeah that is my tip and i'm really looking for, really really looking forward to our session i will speak to you guys after i just finished my therapy session i actually had a really really good session so now i'm waiting for my uber i'm gonna go back home and then i have an L's lesson booked in. So I'm gonna be driving for an hour and a half, which I'm gonna bring you guys on in, which is going to, it might be terrifying because I'm going to be driving during peak hour, or I might just do a really, really good job at it. I'm ready to drive guys. Such a beautiful afternoon to drive. So that's looking great. I've just gone into the car. I'm with my teacher here, Alona. Hi. She's doing very well. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna be able to film while we're driving, but here we are. I just wanted to take you guys on this journey for now. I'm just gonna get set up. All right, we're gonna take off now. I'll see you in one point, one and a half hours. Just like that, we finished driving. I just got home. I got some extra stuff for tonight's dinner. Our Fendi samples have arrived, which we're gonna need for tomorrow. Come sweet home. So I'm surprised I'm even doing this, but I'm going to quickly make some dinner. Tonight I'm just going to do a really quick roasted veggies. While my veggies are going to be roasting, I'm going to quickly unbox everything that I'm going to shoot tomorrow and steam everything. Multitasking. Okay, let's start. together and steam them and get them ready for tomorrow don't judge it's so freaking messy in here but we're currently unboxing it of course so i just wanted to show you guys what we're shooting tomorrow Ooh, this Bottega veneta sh white shirt um next up we've got this trench coat by nearly nearly lotion oh this blaze is really cool i love this by Acne Studios, of course. I love anything by Acne Studios. They also do the best blazers. White suit pants. These are by Acne as well. So all of these are samples. I don't get to keep them because I'm shooting them for their website. So they're all just um, part of their media rail. We've got some King and Tuckfield knitwear got these 70s bootcut jeans by redone we also have this dion lee dark green knitted dress i believe next up we have something from lueve some white leather trainers these are cute wow this is a really big unboxing wow this beautiful white leather neos bag Okay, obsessed. I think that's the end of the unboxing. Okay, so I moved the rack um, to our living room. Right now, I'm just basically gonna go through all of the looks and style them up together, and then I'm gonna steam. And then I'm gonna put away all of them into a huge cloth bag so they're just organized and ready to go for tomorrow. 
and then I'm gonna put all the accessories and shoes and bags into like one big bag so it's easily accessible for tomorrow. Okay, so I just packed all of the shoes. I've packed all of the accessories in here. I've got bags, I've got more shoes that I'm keeping in pristine condition. Everything fits, woohoo! Crispy on the outside and so fluffy on the inside. Look at them! Yay! Plate up! I'm just so happy that I can finally sit down and have my dinner now. I'm just going to have my rainbow bowl and peace out. I'm really happy that I got everything done today. I felt like it was very busy. I felt like I was very productive, which I'm really happy about because I had some really dud days last week. Um, and yeah, I feel prepared for tomorrow. I will see you guys bright and early in the morning. We start shooting at 7.30 a.m. So I'm gonna be up early doing my hair and makeup at home and getting ready for the day. Night. I'm wearing this oversized acne jacket, this vintage grey top, Celine handbag, which you guys would have seen me wear a few times on Instagram. Some denim jeans by a Goldie and some loafers by Tots. This is the first outfit I am wearing, dream Gucci suit. We're just finding the light at the moment. It's kind of popping out over here. So we're gonna get some shots on this side. I just got changed in the car into my second look. Now we're shooting look two in this trench coat. Obsessed with these Bottega shoes. The way they tops. Ilkin. <laughs> That's a wrap. We just quickly shot one look for the way in the park. I'm obsessed with this dress. It's like princess. Tell me something after five years of being together that I don't know about you. Something you don't know about me. When I was a little kid and when I lived in Hong Kong, I was obsessed with Hello Kitty. And so I had Hello Kitty themed birthday. I think it was like my fourth birthday. Hello Kitty everything. I had a Hello Kitty yo-yo. I had Hello Kitty ramen. I had everything was pink, including like my bed sheets, everything. Do you know that about me? I didn't know that. <laughs> so I know now what to get you for your next birthday. Hello Kitty Cake. Okay, we'll see you soon, mate. Ciao. Saturday night, just giving you an update. <laughs> morning. It's Monday morning. I'm just currently going for a walk. The temperature has drastically dropped. And I feel like this happens every year. Hi. So after my morning walk and grocery shop, we got ready 
prepped up. Now we have arrived to Jamie's apartment slash studio. You guys would have met Jamie a few days ago at the Fendi store. Hi, Jamie. <laughs> we are doing our second shot now, so we're going to reset. Basically, for those who don't know what an editorial is, I guess like an editorial is like a story or a concept or a theme that gets conveyed through photographs. It's not for advertising. So you kind of have like free reign over the creativity and like the team. It's more for visual purposes, I guess. And collaboration. Yeah, and collaboration. We've got heaps of beautiful high-end and low-end brands today as well that we're shooting. We're just doing our second last look. We've shot in a total of big six looks. We're in the most incredible location. As you can see, we're just in, you can see the little beach, that's where we were before. So we've gone for a bit of a walk and we're gonna shoot over here where the ocean pool is. 